Check these out, folks. These were sent down to me quite some time ago. I don't know if you remember me showing you these on my channel, um, but somebody sent these down. There's quite a few of them. And obviously, um, these look pretty cool. They put all sorts of different color resins inside here. These are from Jeff. My name is Jeff. Shupiana? Shupiana. Shupiana. He's from Canada. Sorry it's taking so long, Jeff, to get these kind of on the lay, but today is your lucky day. Okay, I think this is looking pretty cool. I like it. I'm not really too sure what I'm actually doing at the moment. <laughs> um, I'm kind of just shaping, I don't know, it looks like an egg to me. But um, I'm unsure whether to make this into a pot or a vase. I'm thinking maybe a vase actually. Uh, that will make it kind of fairly simple as well. Um, so thinking maybe we sort of shape this a little bit more like an egg, hollow it out and then finish it up. What do you reckon? Now we need to get inside this vase and hollow it out. For this, I'm going to use my new Easywood tool. Hollower. Apparently, this is the bee's cojones.
Well, it's not a ukulele. Have you seen that video yet? I made this. <laughs> I think it turned out pretty funky. I'm loving all these kind of resin kind of like spots all over it. So thanks, Jeff. My name is Jeff. So we went with the vase on this one and I thought that was kind of appropriate. I haven't made a vase for a little while. Got my little black emblem in there, if you can see that. And um, yeah, I think I think overall it's not a bad little, it's not a bad little vase. I hope you like it, because that's the important bit. So I've still got another couple of blanks that Jeff sent me down, um, and I'm not too sure whether to make like a series of these, because I've got this one, and I've got another one over there. Um, so we could make maybe this one into a pot, and then maybe I could make that other one into something else. But I just wanted to show you this, just a quick video for you guys today. Sorry I didn't upload last week, it was pretty hectic after Maker Central. Um, and uh, just sort of winding down from that really. Um, but while we're on the subject of Maker Central, <laughs> I just wanted to thank everybody that kind of came uh, and I met. Um, it was amazing, pretty overwhelming really to see and meet all these people. Um, and obviously I just wanted to have a massive shout out and thank you to all the people that helped support the show, all the makers that came from all over the world. Um, just to come and show their support for the show and mix in, join in. A lot of you helped out, which was amazing. So if I didn't get to say thank you to you, then I'm saying thank you now. <laughs> I'm sure I did, uh, but just in case, you know, it was really, really helpful and, and we really needed that support from you guys. So thank you so much. It was a great show. I think everyone enjoyed themselves. Um, it was different than the last one, bigger and better, I think. Still room for improvement if we are to put on another show, but I'll keep you posted on that one. But thanks anyway, and it was really great, like I say, meeting all of you there. So uh, if you didn't get a key ring, I have got some more key rings uh, up on my website, as well as I'll be putting this and a few other of my items up on my website as well if you want to go and check them out. So we hollowed it out with the Easy Wood Tools, Easy Wood Tools, Easy Wood Hollower. Uh, and this was really cool. Um, this is a really great bit of kit. Um, check this out. It's really useful for hollowing out stuff like this. Um, you know, you tend to find it kind of like quite difficult sometimes to get inside, especially if you've got, you know, quite a large piece of work. Um, but this works really well. It's really good. It's called the C CI5, apparently. So if you want to check out this uh, tool from Easy Wood Tools, I will leave a link below for you um, where you can purchase one or check them out. Cheers, Easy Wood. It still sounds very echoey in here. I have kind of added some bits and pieces. I've added some like foam to the walls over here um, just to try and like, you know, get rid of the echo. Um, and I've added a few other bits and pieces. I suppose in time, you know, as I add more stuff in here, but it's got an open roof, you see, so um, there's no sort of ceiling, so that's why it's quite echoey, so I hope the sound's all right. Oh, and I got this in the car boot cell. Check this out. <laughs> Who's a Star Wars geek? I am. Um, so this is a 1979 Millennium Falcon. Um, and I'm gonna hang this up in my shop. I think it was pretty neat. I saw that there. I was uh, at the car boot sale with my buddy, and we looked at it and we thought we should buy that. And he mentioned, he said, "You should hang that in your shop, Nick." And I was like, "Yes, <laughs> what a great idea!" So I'm not sure where to put it yet, um, but oh, look at it! It's so cool. It's even got the place for batteries. Uh, well, I remember, I remember having one of these. Um, and it was so cool. So I'm gonna probably put it up. I don't know, somewhere up there. I'm gonna hang it down. Maybe I'll get it hung so it's like. Yes! <laughs> so it's kind of coming down from the ceiling. Now that would look pretty cool. Anyway, enough about my car boot sales. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, you'll see all these little things that I do in the weekends and evenings and stuff. I go to car boot sales, which are flea markets in the US, um, and try and pick up bits and pieces. Oh, I picked this up as well. <laughs> this is pretty old. This is an antique. Kind of like, I'm calling it a Viking axe. And I'm gonna restore this. Uh, now I know it's not a restoration channel, but you know I like to mix stuff up. I work, It will be a quick video. I just wanna kind of restore it. There's not gonna be a great deal I'm gonna be able to do to it. Um, this bit is is a little bit kind of like worn away here, but I don't wanna change the handle because it's, well, it's old and it's, I wanna try and keep it. So I'm just gonna restore the handle and the actual um, axe. Um, and then I'll put that on my video. So I will be making a video of this. It will be a quick and sweet one 
fast motion and all that, but just wanted to show you me, show you me doing it. So, as I was saying, please follow me on Instagram. My links are below. There's loads of links there that help you out where I get my music from, uh, the tools that I use, all sorts of stuff like that. So please check those out, because they will help you if you're interested in making stuff. Or even starting a YouTube channel. Well, thanks for joining me, folks. I really do hope that you like this little project that I made for you today. And I've also got some other funky ideas coming soon. Take care, guys. Hope you have a fabulous bank holiday weekend, it is. Well, it is over here. I hope it's bank holiday where you are as well. Have a great one. Take care.